Hello, John. Hi, Jason. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Um, this is um, a, an interview long coming for me. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've probably been a fan of Wilco for, for more years than um, you would probably admit to being in the band. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's great. Well, you know, thanks for thanks for listening all those years. <laughs> yes, and it's and, but it's all been good. That's the thing. I mean, it's and I I I I I wouldn't go as well. I, I'm sure you would you would you would uh, you would like to be. Um, in commercial terms, uh, yeah, as as successful as any band could possibly be. But I, I, I think that's one of the things I've always loved about Wilco is the fact that you, um, you've always somehow um, just managed to, to to not have that happen to you. Um, yeah, I think it's it's somehow it's really um, it's really uh, yeah. There's you get kind of somewhat you just somehow get tainted, especially in the U.S. Uh, this is really true. I think we've we've really been we were just lucky never to have that kind of. I mean, some bands kind of had an early hit like Blow Radiohead, and were able to do a lot of things with it with the sort of resources they got from it, you know. And, and uh, but um, yeah, we've been able to just kind of put along and just make it, you know, somehow. So. America, America does that, that doesn't it? In the way, I mean, that I, I mean, if I look at someone like Dave Matthews, not comparing you at all, and um, but just from the from the point of view that um, if it, if you have a, a good enough base and you're willing to spend a lot of time um, with your fans on the road, um, you could yeah, you, know, you could pretty much do this for as long as you um, as, as, as long as you. You'd like to, I suppose. I hope so. Yeah, you know, I mean, just um, we did come along at a time that um, that was still um, we still had a sort of major we had a major label affiliation, yeah. but with a sort of um, it, it might as well have been 1969 because it was like Mel Austin and all the same people at that, yeah. that reprise, and 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 we were able to just um, you know, um, get a, get a fan, get a touring base, yeah. you know, with a little with a little help from the majors, and 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 then kind of just carry it on. And once you have an audience, it's like it's, it's definitely mm. you know that's that's bigger than having you know, a major label deal. Or something yeah, true. You know. And I mean, as as, as you've seen, uh, I mean, part of your success hasn't come from from that that major label participation, but more from the fact that yeah, you know, technology's been there and your fans have been there, and you know that the biggest your biggest strength has been probably word of mouth that uh, your fan base have you know has celebrated you everywhere. It's that, Lucky, it really is, yeah, and a lot of a lot of a lot of road work, I guess. As well. <laughs> but you're clearly not afraid to work hard. <laughs> True, I guess. What what is it what is it like being in Wilco in 2007, having been through, you know, and having experienced what you have in the way that you have? I mean, obviously, there's a thousand stories. Uh, yeah, it's um, it's great. It's actually um, it's it's um. It's sort of, I mean, even with with the all the tumult or whatever that's gone on, it, it's. Um, I always felt like um, I I kind of felt even, you know, seven years ago that I I probably had a really lucky sort of time in the music biz, mm. um, and uh, and uh, and I think that's if anything, you know, now whatever twelve years later, it's like sort of. Um, uh, to, to be still making records that people people enjoy mm. or that, that, that matter um, with these people, I mean, it's it's yes. um, it's been wonderful. It's like definitely the best uh, musical relationship and the best sort of personal relationships I think we've had like across the band mm. that we've ever had. So mm. um, so it's, it's you just feel it's, it's it feels like a lot of the crap was kind of worth it to go mm. through. Mm. Mm. But you see, the problem with a band like yours is that. Um, Every record you bring out, you you, you keep on topping yourself. So, and yeah, and and the media comes along, and obviously they label and and Jeff will get quoted, you know, as saying that this is the best record that you know that you've made, and and it just it just keeps on getting. You know, it just uh, oh, we hope because I mean, it's like a lot of people think that it's, it's kind of lip service, but that your your most recent record kind of better be your your yeah. favorite record, or else you're kind of in trouble. But <laughs> it hasn't always been that for me. Um, in other bands, yeah. so it's a bad feeling knowing that uh, it's like, well, we'll do better next time. <laughs> but you, there is there is an element of trying to correct um, previous wrongs with with the or what you what you thought was maybe incomplete about a previous record. With yeah. Record. And um, the, I think that that helps um, 
naturally change change the course of direction. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I suppose from the point of view that uh, there, there will always be that element um, that you'll keep on making records indefinitely because, you know, you'll never quite be happy with, uh, you know, there'll always be something that you would uh, want to do differently. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I mean, like um, this sort of, um, uh, you know, um, some, I think the, the bigger the bigger your career gets, the sort of you can't help. There is a little bit of a self reactionary sort of, um, uh, sort of you have these 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 a little in in your head. These sort of um, you know you try not to to repeat yourself, uh, um, and and you know you just wonder how that informs the music if you can, you know. So that that's a little bit of a struggle, you know, when you when you when you when you're when you're knowingly sort of trying to make things different. And uh, this is what what was kind of cool about this record was that it, there was such an organic. Um, it was just basically it was the closest thing to sort of like a session sort of record that we had since maybe the first record, really first or second record that um, that it still and it still held a, a real a sort of difference, this real change and reflection in the new band, you know. That um, so it, it it was like well this is this is different from Ghost is Born, this is different from yeah. Because that but, must be difficult though, isn't it? I mean to try and, not to try and keep it fresh or to come up with new ideas, but you know there's this I suppose there are only so many ways that you know that that you can sound. Yeah, in a in a traditional I guess yeah mm. tra really in a, in a traditional sort of you know two guitars whatever lineup. Mm. I think I think so. Um, um, but then again, you know. This is, in a way, we haven't done. I mean, this was one of the quicker rec Wilco records, mm. and um, and uh, I guess previous interview I talked about, you know, just wondering what this is going to be in another two years or yeah. something. And and, and um, I'm I'm encouraged. I mean, I'm, uh, I hope the sky's the limit on mm. it. You know, mm. and if we get down to a a day to day sort of uh, work schedule that we did with. Um, Yankee Hotel and Ghost is born. I, mm. I can imagine some wonderful results. Is it, is, is, it, is it still, is it still is it sort of so much, I mean, I, I'm sure it is a whole lot of fun, but is it, don't you feel a little corporate in the sense that you've done, that you are such a success that you, you know, in in, in the sense that you, you know, you're, you're not indie kids really anymore, although you get to play indie kids. Well, uh, yeah, and you know what? I have to say that I think we're. I mean, at least I feel pretty graduated from that whole, yeah. from that from that world. And, Thankfully, uh, um, yeah, absolutely. I mean, because because the kids are so young, you know, yeah. you can't help being. I mean, they're, I'm, I'm sure we're we're a bit of a. I'm sure we're we're a bit of a dinosaur to a lot of these people. And mm. I mean, the pitch pitchfork still, you know, mm. they're still nice to us, which is great. <laughs> but it is it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of um, involuntarily not in that world. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it would be sad if I were, were in the world, frankly. I mean, just, you know, I'm definitely in a, yeah. a middle-aged sort of rock world. And, and happy to be there, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> now, so t talking about the, the, yeah, the, the new record, obviously, um, it's clearly not just what you're saying, but um, people that have heard it, I've, I've, I've had the album for a uh, about three weeks now, three four weeks, and uh, um, I, d I, I concur, I think, with everyone that um, it's 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 a it's a great progression, obviously, from the last record. But it, in so many ways, it it harps back to to um, maybe a simpler time, and um, when maybe you were less aware, or you seemed less aware, or you didn't need to prove any points. It was really just about uh, getting into a studio and and, uh, and having these songs just come out. Yeah, I, I do. Um, I I think there's just so much. Um, we were so self-aware after um, you gave Del Fox Drive going mm. into Ghost Is Born, and that was the first time that I ever felt like um, that I felt like um, uh, um, like I, I felt that I, I, I was in a weird place from an objective standpoint. I, I was just I was, I was self-aware of kind of what we were doing, and um, and uh, I, I think the record. Uh, it might reflect that a little bit. Um, you know, I couldn't help um, knowing after Yankee Hotel that there would be this sort of element of, of disappointment or a lot of people. It would be a letdown. And, it, and, and there was a sort of, um, you know, there was an element of like kind of flying in the face of it, but there just wasn't, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of unity with that record mm -hmm. in a lot of ways, the way there was with this. So I think, I think we were just happy um, to, to try with, with the new band 
you sort of realize you had this sort of higher musical mm. uh, connection than any lineup it had before mm. um, around the time of the live record and everything. The fact that we wanted to document that that band, you know, on a, mm. a live record. So it, it, I think it was just really the, the feeling of like kind of getting back to basics and just sort of an unselfconscious record, mm. you know. <laughs> and you and, can't. Uh, and then it's clear that you can't. You can't cheat. Um, in any way, because you know it's you know rightly or wrongly, the music always has always been, and certainly from my point of view, uh, very honest. So when when it's anything but that, you know, you 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 can't you can't but make honest records. And if you're having a bad time, or if you're feeling pressure, or if things aren't particularly you know uh, good for you, or you're not in a good space, it, it reflects in the music. It does, and, and I think there are good. You know, there's enough people in the band that can really detect. Mm the bullshit or not, you mm. know, I mean, enough people, and, and Nels especially, and I mean, just, you know, I think, <laughs> you know, so, uh, it's, 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 yeah, I mean, it was just, I, it just feels like a really honest, in a way, unadorned, you know, it was, and, and I think, um, it was a reflection also of just, of a, of a really good work ethic, and mm. something that just, it unfolded really fast, and mm. happened really fast, and, and I love, Pursuing that, I think I think that that has been the culmination of, of all most like ninety five percent of the great music of the world has been mm. has been organic, has, has flowed out. Mm. Were well, you know? surprised at how at how how easily or how quickly it did come? Um, uh, not really, because uh, uh, I knew even from the first sort of uh, rehearsals that we had with the new lineup, there was a certain um, there, uh, Nels and Pat kind of brought a, a, a really uh, uh, definitely a more sophistication, I'd mm. say, in, in, um, in different ways, you know. But they're 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 very, um, very proficient, and mm. uh, and so so there was that sort of that that there was that 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 kind of new element at that mm. even at that point rehearsing for Ghost is more tour, and mm. then, and so I knew that uh, I couldn't wait to get in the studio. I knew mm. it was going to be it was going to be fun. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, at 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 this point. It would be your favorite record because it's the one you've played the least live. So. Exactly. <laughs> Funny how that works. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so many times you can do, you can do that Just before. Walk it into the ground. <laughs> it's completely true. <laughs> but um, is is that a side of things that you yeah that you that you do enjoy still doing? Um, you know, going out there and uh, you know playing it to as many people as possible and uh, you know then. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, it's hard not to get excited about playing in front of 4,000 people, mm. I have to say, you mm. know, whether it's, it's, um, whether it's you playing bass and singing background vocals or, <laughs> or any sure. thing on, on the stage, so, um, or, you know, uh, so I have a, I have a, a family now, which is different from the last record, mm. and, uh, so, um, it makes it, it absolutely makes it a, a lot harder, mm. um, but it's, it's just a sort of, um, it's a reality of the situation we still sort of um, rely on 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 that to to you know uh the sort of the bread and butter sure so sure. we're making we're making royalties now and everything so sure, but, sure. but it's still the it's still how we make a living so sure. and i mean thankfully i suppose in some ways it's something that you have an outgrown in the sense that you you don't uh, you don't uh, you know you don't detest that part of it i mean as you say there's nothing better than standing in front of a stage and getting that immediacy that you yeah. you don't get when you look at the CD packaging and go oh <laughs> we exactly. did that <laughs> yeah and, and and there's so you know so many people think well it's really the schlep work and mm. the immortality is really the the album and everything and then you know but you know the life of a, I mean it's 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 absolutely has to one thing has to feed the other mm. you know mm. it's mm. absolutely absolutely integral and it's still the way to sell records basically so sure. really so sure. And it's the success of the band, I think, in many ways that um, you know that that you are willing to do that because you could arguably, like you're saying, um, you know, the royalties are one thing, um, and as the catalogue gets bigger and bigger, you know, that arguably too, depending on what you're what you're looking for out of life, I suppose, is is less and it's less and less um, dire necessity to do it, but it's um, um, but it's still something that the band. Um, you know, sees as being critical to, you know, your longevity, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I mean, you just have to do it. You know? Yeah. I mean, we have, a, we have a big organization at this point, and, mm. you know, it's it's, so, it's not not for that reason, but, you know, no. it, it all it all works, you know. <laughs> and if anything, the fact that you have that organization tells 
tells us again on another level that what you're doing is good. So um, yeah, I guess, I guess so. There are really some people are some people are out there. I guess sure. I mean, who ever thought that you would employ people? You know, exactly. You know, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. We I think last year we got to the point for the first time where we had people that we didn't know. The, the names of you know we didn't know we didn't know the names of certain people on the crew and I was like wow that's now we've gotten to a level like where, <laughs> guys I don't even people. know their names yeah yeah <laughs> we don't know who they are but they just arrive and they do it's stuff horrible. and they leave <laughs> that's right the real faceless you know, that's where the, the evil comes in no, no it's fantastic no, 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 no but I think it's I think it's a great place to be that. Um, you know, that uh, you clearly as a band between Jeff and obviously yourself and the rest of the guys, you, you're very aware of the place that you occupy. And I think that would be your, um, that is your saving grace on, on so many levels that, uh, you know, you, you have to take it uh, with a pinch of salt and you have to respect it in the same breath because as quickly as it, well, not as quickly as it came, but uh, the space oh, okay, is yeah, can fall away. It's, a, it's really, I mean, if you really look at it, the rock and roll, I mean, business, it's, it's just like we're, I mean, you know, I mean, it's, it, and it, this entertainment is just mm. so, um, you know, it's meaningful and meaningless at the mm. same time. Mm. It's, just, it's very... Well, well I'm, I'm one of those people, and I know there are hundreds of thousands of people like me that are grateful that you are still doing it and that you are doing it as well as you are. And, uh, and thank you. Um, oh, you know. thank you certainly for taking the time today and um, as I say South Africa is far enough away for you to have to think about it but it's a good place to bring your family for a for, it's, for a bit it's of lovely my wife was just talking about it and I we actually have we have a flat downstairs that we rent and yes. you know, we have a South African girl living there oh uh, fantastic she can yeah, tell you all about it she's lovely it's funny your accent is very um you know, I'm, I'm, I love the I love the different accents there. Hers mm. is a lot more. I guess it's a lot more. It's like Dutch and Australian. Put yeah, it's Af Afrikaans. Yeah, she's, Afrikaans. She's, yeah, right, exactly. yeah, yeah. And, are, and you sound more English. I guess. Yes, more English. What, what, what is that? Does that have a name? That sort of the, no, it doesn't. That's uh, uh, just English language. Yeah, yeah Afrikaans is the language. Is primary. Yes, I grew up. I grew up English. My parents came from England, and uh, oh, right on. And um, in my wife who is Afrikaans um, it's, a, it's like it, it, it sounds very similar to Dutch but it is a completely different language and those are your two main languages that you learn at school is English and Afrikaans and then oh wow oh so so you you, you, you learn both yes yeah, so I can speak school. both yeah yeah, awesome. yeah, That's yeah, great. yeah. but John but thank the, you yeah yeah absolutely thank you for your time and, and uh, thanks for the questions and thank you for, for again for a great record and good luck with it all not, so not that you need it. I just think you need to rest up. And <laughs> oh, we need it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time again. Absolutely. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.